Texas. Uh oh. Danny, I think perhaps uh -oh. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone. I don't care about you. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Hudson. We're playing the Stanley Parable. This game looks freaking awesome. I have never played this before, so I'm going in completely blind. But I did see a Let's Play of the Stanley Parable demo, as well as the uh, release when it was just an add-on with the Half-Life engine. So it could be similar, it could not be. If you guys don't know anything about this game, get prepared. Uh, strap yourselves in, because it should be very, very entertaining and mind-boggling. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is loading. Hmm. Yes, like I said, this is going to be quite interesting. Should be a bucket of fun. Only a bucket, though. But like a large bucket. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. But no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. This is a really nice office. Look at this office. He's got like hard walls and everything. Man, I only have a cube at my work. Okay, these files are really, really clustered up. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, is that a pencil sharpener? Huh. Sweet. Okay, so I'm getting up. We're getting up. 427. Is anybody in here? Nope. Locked. Locked. Hello? Hello? Can I go on break? Does this mean I can go home today? Is everybody else sick? All of his co-workers were All gone. of his co-workers? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Hello? He <laughs> memo. What does 432 do? Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hey, this computer's on! Hey, this computer is on. Somebody's here. Hello? 435. Hey, 435. Are you here? Hello? Okay, seriously, um, look at this. Look at, look at 423's, or 432's office. Is he, like, the master pencil sharpener? Like, uh, obviously not. There's not, there's no, no pencil shavings. What does he do? Just shave his fingers? Okay, what's that? <laughs> Who farted? Ha <laughs> ha. What a classic, classic office comedy mug. Alright, okay, what do these guys do? This guy obviously has files. This guy's also a master. He's he's the apprentice pencil sharpener. Let's see here. It's just freaking files all over the place. What the hell? Hello? Anybody? Oh, that's nice. Motivational posters. Classic. Anybody in the storage closet? No. Hello? Hello? 426, 425. So who gets the hard walls? Hey, look, that guy's got like a bunch of windows and stuff. That would be a cool office. Unless you're doing, like, you know, weird stuff on your computer that everyone can see. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I don't know where to go. Can I jump? No, I can't do anything. I'm pushing. Oh, I can crouch. Okay. I can sneak around. Gosh, what happened here? Somebody spilled. Who farted? Everybody has a, has a mug that says who farted. Really? I mean, it's a funny joke, but. Okay, what does that say? F you? 
Okay, that's not office appropriate. What does this one say? Be my Valentine. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, what does that one say? Who farted? A lot of who farted ones. What if I went backwards? What if I went back to my cube and just sat down? Is he gonna do anything? Is he gonna be mad? I can't. I can't even. Who locked me out? Okay, so oh, there's somebody here. There's computers that are on. 435 is sneaking around. He locked me out of my own freaking cube. I don't even know if you'd call it a cube. It's more of an office. Okay. Um, this whole thing seems pretty shady to me because if you have commands that come up onto a computer that tell a human to then, again, enter those commands, you would just have a computer execute the commands initially. So obviously this whole thing is a ploy and I'm like part of some study. Username, access. Okay, it's the 421's here too. F you mug. Come on. All right, where am I going? What does that say? I hate Mondays. Ho ho. That's that's actually a cool picture. All right, now where? Anybody behind the door? <laughs> He's just sneaking by back there. Four, four, three, one, or whoever that guy was. When Stanley All came right. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Why are these so bright? Is that a window, or is that just like a light back there? Okay, what what door did he say to go into? I think he said the left door. Do I want to go in the left door? Or do I want to go in the right door? Left door? Right door. Left door? Right door. This right door. This was not the correct way to the meeting oh, room. And I didn't knew it choose correctly. Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Employee lounge first? What, what do I do? Do I listen to him or do I not listen to him? I'm not sure what I should do. Maybe I'll go ahead and just not listen to him. See what happens. Hello? There we go. There's the lounge. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. Gold drinks. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Coffee Stanley nut. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I want some coffee. I'm tired. I want some more coffee mug jokes. What does that one say? Yeah. Number one. Really, really worth Dad. being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating. <laughs> He's all mad. He's all mad at me. Mysteriously vanished. Here you sit, looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yep. Really I'm just gonna keep it. looking at the wall. You mad, bro? You mad, bro? That I'm standing here. You mad, bro? Huh? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. <laughs> on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> oh my gosh! What an asshole! Everybody left because I I liked a room. Yeah, what a what a dick. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I'm just gonna keep running circles and I'm gonna see what he says. I'm not gonna listen to you. Voice in my head. Have you ever seen Stranger Than Fiction? This really reminds me of that movie, where a guy hears a voice like this in his head. Is he gonna say anything? Hello? I don't give a shit what you want. It's got that same pictures everywhere. Do I go through the door or do I not? All right, fine. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing <laughs> room and took the first open door on his left it was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. It's like an architect place. Cool. Rubber hosing. Cool. It's in there. This looks like a room from, like, Portal or something. Cool. Why is that window boarded up? What's going on? It's getting creepy. And who's shutting these doors behind me? Who's doing that? Hey! What the hell? What's going on? I'm very lost right now. Oh, hey! Trucks! Those brake lights are on. There must be someone in that truck. How do you... Okay, so... How do you, you... You can't have a forklift that reaches that high. How would you stack things up that high? Huh? Huh? This thing? Is this... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stanley, I think perhaps uh -oh. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone I don't care about you! Uh, <laughs> but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yay! Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. 
Uh, I start all the way over? Oh, man. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <sighs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Missed a memo. Should I go kill myself again? When Stanley came to a set of two open Fuck you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Still no. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. All right, we're back. Look, Let's Stanley, go. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. All right, this is gonna take me I'm up now. Up to really where? Not. I realize that investing in your trust in Over someone there? else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. Oh, Stanley. you know what? I should try to get on. Someone I should try to get on this platform. What? Yeah. Really? Check this and in the out. Of something, do you have zero consideration for others? Are you <laughs> convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to yeah, show right. you something beautiful. You insulted me earlier, you Let dick. Me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Danger. Danger everywhere. Yeah, okay, so you, this guy does not seem helpful. He's insulting me. He's making fun of me. He's yeah, oh my gosh. He's putting signs up that says danger everywhere. I'm out of here. I'm out. This is baloney. 2B1. What's in here? Alright. I don't know what's going on. 2B3. Warning. Do not stand on this side of fence. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can't stand on the other side. I can't get over there. <laughs> Alright. 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 Now listen carefully. This is important. Red Stanley pill or the blue pill? Through the red door. I don't want to go through the red door. I want to listen to him. He's a dick. He's trying to kill me. Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through what? the red door. He just changed the room on me. Matrix. Oh, gosh. I'm screwed. I'm not going through the red door. Don't open the blue door if you don't want me to go through it. I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Yay, Blue Door! <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't I let win. me stop you. You're not going to stop me. No one's going to stop me. Okay, this is, looks like a room that would kill me. Um, YOLO! There's nothing here. Hmm. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. <laughs> you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you yes. think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me? Yes. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. A this third already option. feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. This room? What if I just went on the normal door now? Ha! Bitch. Oh, hey, I'm back here. Okay. This is regular I'm experience. Stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Ha, is five good or five bad? Five probably is good. I'm gonna insult him back. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. I'm very excited. It's the same thing. What the hell? Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Okay. Well, I'm not on there. 
Now which way do I take? This one? I'll take this one. Now, what? would you say what? that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? <laughs> honest answers, please. I'll give him a two this time. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let's Let do it. it up. Better at porn. I mean, in this game, prom. The baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. <laughs> Which is the fire? You fail. It's a very meaningful. Well, it's not a real baby. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But huh. of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? <laughs> Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I don't like babies anyways. I'm not really a baby kind of guy. You heartless bastard. <laughs> you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me. The babies. It's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> it's over. Thank you for playing. Oh, I'm in dark room. was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> I don't like this guy. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Hey, I know well, this game. Stanley, is this any better? 